Provost Bras, thank you very much for taking the time to talk with me. My name is Aaron Washington. I am entering my fifth year as a PhD candidate in biochemistry. Nice meeting you, Aaron. I'm Rafael Bras. I'm the Provost and Executive Vice President of Georgia Tech, and it's really wonderful to be here with you. If you don't mind, I have a couple questions from graduate students that are really pertinent to graduate way of life, and I, I would like to ask these questions to you to, to get your point of view. Sure, please go ahead. First one is, what time management advice do you have for graduate students who not only will have classes and assignments, but also have families and jobs that will need their attention as well? Well, foremost, uh, keep in mind that you, have a, you need a balanced life, uh, but certainly the one advantage you have as a graduate student is you can focus. So compartmentalize your activities, make sure you do them one at a time. Uh, when you feel that you have been working too hard, take a break. But on the other hand, keep in mind that you must plow ahead and uh, do your work. I couldn't agree more. I, I completely agree that prioritization is incredibly important, but being able to recognize the time to take a step back, and it's all right to have an evening off. Absolutely. Next question is, how important was it for you to have a mentor during your graduate school? Terribly important. I think mentors of all types are, are, are crucial in, in life. Uh, I think anybody who feels that they do it on their own is lying. So it is very important that you find somebody you can go to and ask about professional career, about mm -hmm. life in general, about your personal problems. It doesn't have to be a single person, but you need somebody. I experienced a very similar thing. The first couple of years are incredibly hectic for a graduate student, especially in such a rigorous program at Georgia Tech. Without my mentor, it would have been much more complicated, so I'm I, incredibly grateful. I have to tell you, Aaron, I would not be here without uh, mentors. I, to this day, I still have mentors that have served me very well since my graduate students and undergraduate student life all the way through now. I still talk to them practically every week. What is your single best piece of advice for incoming students? Have fun. There's no question about it that this is the best time in life, bias opinion, but I really believe that's the case. It's an opportunity to focus, to do what you like. You're here because you want to be, not because somebody's making you to be, uh, be here. So the important thing is enjoy it, have fun. Some of the things that I've learned along the way is it's always important to carry a poncho and a snack. <laughs> you never know when the Atlanta rain is going to hit. You never know when an experiment is going to run longer. That's good. Very, very, <laughs> very good advice. The next question that I have for you, what did you find most surprising or appealing about Georgia Tech and Atlanta in general? Well, I think the, the, what it offers, uh, the energy of uh, Georgia Tech students, staff, and uh, faculty is very high. The, the, uh, what I would call the healthy ambition to excel, um, the ability to be flexible, the ability to, to take risks and do new things. Uh, so that is, uh, to me, is, uh, I wouldn't describe it as surprising. It's satisfying. I expected that. That's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. I, I share that view. The interdisciplinarity that I experienced at Georgia Tech was overwhelming. I, I truly feel that the, the wave of scientific advancement is no longer going to be held in a single discipline. You need to be able to be more multidisciplinary and speak from multiple angles if you want to succeed and push the boundaries of scientific research. Absolutely. The problems of the future are not in a discipline. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, let me ask you one question. Sure. The, the, big, the big question that I'm sure all new graduate students are thinking is, what do you know, you know now that you wish you had known when you became a graduate student? Uh, be comfortable asking for help. We are all here to be better at whatever we're here for, regardless of your college or your degree. You want to be the best you can be. Feel free and feel comfortable in learning to ask for help looking for fresh eyes at your project if it's stuck, looking for help if you just need a friendly ear and you're going through a rough patch of your own, or just asking for help to get to that next phase of your research and, and when you get to your quals, your qualifying exams, or your proposal. Very good, I think that's good advice. Uh, uh, again, the point and what you're describing is ask for help, uh, enjoy it, uh, it's not the end of the world, no matter what happens. Yes, sir. Uh, and it's a great opportunity. Aaron, nice meeting you. Yes, Thank sir. you very much. Thank you.